Vulcanization of rubber is a chemical process that transforms natural or synthetic rubber into a more durable and useful material. It was first discovered by Charles Goodyear in the mid-19th century and has since become a fundamental process in the rubber industry. Vulcanization involves cross-linking the polymer chains in rubber with sulfur or other vulcanizing agents to improve its mechanical properties, such as elasticity, strength, and resistance to heat, chemicals, and environmental factors. The vulcanization process typically begins by mixing raw rubber with sulfur and other additives like accelerators, activators, and fillers. The mixture is then heated, often in a mold or under pressure to temperatures around 140 to 160 degrees centigrade. During this heating phase, the sulfur atoms form bridges or cross-links between the polymer chains of rubber. These cross-links create a three-dimensional network within the rubber matrix, making it more stable and less susceptible to deformation at higher temperatures. The benefits of vulcanization are numerous. It significantly enhances the rubber's resilience, allowing it to return to its original shape after being stretched or compressed. It also improves its resistance to abrasion, weathering, and chemicals, making vulcanized rubber suitable for a wide range of applications, from tires and footwear to gaskets and seals. The vulcanization process can be tailored to achieve different properties by adjusting the type and amount of vulcanizing agents and additives used. This flexibility allows manufacturers to produce rubber products with specific characteristics to meet diverse industrial and consumer needs. In summary, vulcanization of rubber is a transformative process that strengthens and enhances the properties of rubber by creating cross-links between polymer chains. This results in a more durable, elastic and versatile material that has found extensive use in various industries, offering a wide array of applications for rubber-based products.